I didn't want to speak it into existence when I first started, but I was nervous as hell about this workout because I feel like it can make or break your confidence. What's good, family? Welcome to another Freaky Fast Friday. We got a special workout today. We have a two mile time trial. Been a pretty decent week. Last week was uh, kind of a shorter week for me. I had some uh, work stuff to get done. So I didn't get in as many uh, overall runs as I would normally do, but we here now. So it's actually kind of chilly in comparison to uh, what the heat wave brought to us the last couple weeks, it seemed like. And it almost looked like it's about to rain. And matter of fact, I just said I felt a little raindrop. So I didn't see that in the forecast earlier. So I guess I might be doing this with a little bit of rain today. We gonna have to just wait and see. But uh, two mile time trial, uh, goal pace, race pace, which would be 626. I actually changed my watch to show me kilometers. So I wanna make sure that I'm hitting that uh, four minutes per kilometer. Cause when I'm actually doing the race, that's how I'm gonna uh, track it by kilometers rather than uh, by miles. I think that just helps me out a lot better. That's what I did last time. I ran my uh, sub 20, I tracked my kilometers and I think that's a good strategy. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I'll be tracking my kilometers and yeah, that's the workout. So I got uh, about 15 minutes, I'm gonna warm up first. And I got uh, 400 meter strides at goal race pace as well too and then two miles at goal race pace and then we'll do another 15 minutes cool down so hopefully it don't rain too hard if it decides to rain but if it do it do i'm still gonna get it in because as we already know you never know what the weather has in store for us i'm expecting it to be a hot and humid night and this is right now a cold and cloudy morning so <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see but i'm gonna get my warm-up in i'm gonna get my strides in and then we gonna get to this workout. All right, man, I'll catch up with y'all when I catch up with y'all. Let's get it. Whew. All right, y'all, here we go. No idea if that was race pace or not. <laughs> Couldn't tell, but oh well. One down, three to go. All right, y'all, just finished up the strides. About to get right into this workout. Now, I'm not gonna do this race with my GoPro. I'm gonna put this down. Now, lately, my GoPro been kind of acting up uh, it'll film for a little while and then it'll start talking about some SD error or something like that So I'm gonna leave it here for now and hopefully y'all get to see me run around at least zip, zip zip through here at least about three four times We'll see before error comes if not and it gets the whole thing Hopefully you'll be able to see all those laps, but for now I'm about to get my workout in it is actually it's 3.33 kilometers so I did two-thirds of the race as my time trial so the goal is to hold on to four minutes per kilometer. Maybe go start going a little bit faster once we hit that third. And then we'll just see where it goes from there. So let's get this thing cracking now. All right, three, two, one, let's go. All right, as predicted, the GoPro died out on y'all. But time trial is over. We had 3.33 kilometers, average pace 356 per kilometer. So obviously I'm very happy with that. 
very happy with that that shows me that i am fit enough to run a sub 25k i didn't want to speak it into existence when i first started but i was nervous as hell about this workout because i feel like it can make or break your confidence it can make your confidence like it's doing right now because i completed the task in the time that i needed to complete the task it can break your confidence because if you're not up to par it's gonna make you question everything that you've been doing it's gonna make you question your fitness make you question your approach but i don't have that right now a couple things let's take into consideration it's a little drizzle right now and it's a lot cooler than what it has been and i'm predicting that during this race july 12th that evening it's probably going to be a very warm and humid evening the run guys were smiling down on me today with this weather that i have right now but i also have to take into consideration that on that day there's a good chance that it's probably going to be hot as hell and humid as hell on top of that so we'll see <laughs> we'll see but i'm confident knowing that when i told the line if i told the line healthy i'm in sub 20 shape i felt i felt great right i felt great all throughout this whole 3.33 at about maybe two and a half kilometers i did start to notice my uh quads and glutes starting to feel a little fatigued of course but it wasn't anything unbearable like i was almost questioning like should i just <laughs> just run a damn 5k and just just see but no nah, we gotta stick to the script because i was feeling pretty damn good like i said i was starting to feel fatigue definitely in the legs once i hit that two and a half but like it wasn't anything strenuous like i know i know i could have finished that off today and probably would have run that sub 20 so that's a very good thing to have on my mind and to be able to feel right now just kept telling myself don't fall asleep it's a lot of laps running on the track and you have to stay focused you have to stay concentrated on the task at hand it's very easy to kind of just get lackadaisical because it's just so monotonous running in the circle so many times so i just kept telling myself don't fall asleep don't fall asleep keep this pace stay strong stay smooth and that helped me out a lot especially with me running by myself too i don't have the luxury of having other people out here uh running with me or cheering me on different things like that so it's very easy to kind of just get lackadaisical with running this many laps but i did a good job of staying focused on the task at hand and this was an excellent time trial so once again i'm very excited about this moving forward i feel very confident we what two weeks away now i believe yeah two weeks away man this shit coming quick so feeling good about to get my 15 minute cool down and then let's keep this thing moving man time trial in the books i'll get back with y'all next week all right man love y'all family let's get it. i'm out peace